Hello from the Essential Apps team. In this video, I'll show you how easy it is to set up partial payments using the Essential Pre-Order and Pre-Sale app. With this app, your customers can pay for products or services in parts instead of all at once. I'll also walk you through some real-world scenarios where partial payments make sense. Let's jump right into some examples of when you might find partial payments super helpful. You're selling expensive products that take a while to make. You want better cash flow when drop shipping. You're offering pre-orders for popular items that run out fast. Instead of showing a back-in-stock notification, taking a partial payment ensures stronger customer commitment and more sales. You're running a Kickstarter-style campaign, event-driven or booking-based e-commerce. Custom or configurable product orders. If any of these sound familiar, stick around, and I'll guide you through setting up partial payments on your Shopify store with Essential Pre-Order and Pre-Sale. Head to the Shopify App Store and search for Essential Pre-Order. Once you find it, click Install and you're good to go. After installing, go to the app's homepage and hit Create Campaign. You'll start on the Content tab, where you'll customize your partial payment widget. Here's what's inside. Title. Give your widget an internal name. This isn't visible to customers, so pick something easy for you to remember. Pre-order options. Choose one of these three. Show pre-order when your product is out of stock. You can also set a limit on how many items are available for pre-order by clicking on Limit Inventory for pre-order and increasing the available inventory right here. Also, you're able to always show the pre-order button or only show pre-order when the product is in stock. Also, you can customize pre-order button. Here, you can tweak the button text and the message below it. Feel free to name it whatever makes sense for your customers, like Add to Cart. This can be really helpful, especially when you're selling items that need extra time to make. Or you can keep the pre-order text if it's a Kickstarter campaign or you're trying to create a hype around a product or simply a popular product is out of stock. Further on, there's a cool feature to offer a discount. You can set this as either a percentage or a fixed amount off. But please note, this works only if you're using Shopify payments. Next up is the most important section of this tutorial. Payments. Since we're focusing on partial payments, make sure this option is selected. Again, remember this only works if you're using Shopify payments or PayPal. Here's how you can set up the partial payment. Decide how much money you want to collect up front, either as a percentage of the total price or a specific amount. You'll see the message update automatically under the button as you change it. Then choose when the remaining balance gets charged. You have two options a set number of days after the checkout, or a specific calendar date. This depends on your fulfillment strategy. If you have a specific date when the products are arriving from your provider, you can set that date. Setting a number of days after checkout works great in cases when products are made to order. The widget message updates automatically depending on your choices, so your customers always know what's happening but you can also customize the message in this text field. Just make sure to familiarize yourself with this disclaimer right here. If you want to display the partial payment amount, show remaining balance, or when the customer will be charged full amount. Now let's talk design. The design tab helps you match the widget style with your store's branding. First part, pre-order button design. You can stick with the default look, which matches your add to cart button, or get creative by pushing custom. Pick a single color or a gradient background. Adjust gradient angle degree. Change gradient colors. Tweak borders. Fine tune corner radius. Adjust text size. Its color. And button spacing. but careful not to go overboard. Sometimes simpler looks better. That's why for the presentation, I'll go back to the default option. Next option, typography. Here, you can adjust fonts, pre-order message text size, color. Also, if you've set a discount, you can apply changes to the price alignment. Main price text and color. and strike through price, size, and color. 
Also, payment details, text size, and color. This gives your widget the perfect look to help boost user experience and conversions. Finally, let's head to the Products tab to choose which items will allow partial payments. Please note that for pre-order campaigns, we enable Continue Selling Out of Stock option automatically after the app is published. Without this enabled, you won't be able to sell out of stock products. If this is not suitable for you, then you can choose the campaign type to show pre-order for products in stock, and you won't need to enable Continue Selling Out of Stock option. After configuring this, either apply your campaign to all products or select just a few. To apply it to everything, click All Products, and you're set. If you want specific products instead, first remove all variants if you added any. Then click Add Specific Products, Continue, and then pick the items you want. After you've made your choice, hit Add. Once everything is sorted, click Publish. Then click on Preview Pre-Order on Store to see your setup live. As you see, it's already working. No extra steps needed. Let's see how it looks for the end customer by clicking on our app CTA button. As you see, once the product is in the cart, it automatically adds note, pre-order partial payment. And once you're in the checkout page, customer sees how much is due today and how much is due on the complete payment day. This makes everything very clear and transparent for the customer. Hope my walkthrough clears everything up. However, if you're facing any issues, do not hesitate to reach out to our support team and we'll get back to you in no time.